What's going on guys? My name is Kerry. This is my channel where twice a week I upload videos about manufactured homes. Today I'm going to be talking about a few of the almost 600 options available to go into your new home because if you don't know what's available, how are you going to put it into your new house? Last week I got a comment from Latoya Evans that said, Hi Kerry, thank you for doing this channel. What options are available to make a modular home more accessible to someone who is wheelchair bound? That's a great question and there's a bunch of stuff you can do without breaking the bank. So Latoya, this one's for you. Let's get started. The very first thing you always wanna do is like this video and leave me a comment because that helps out the YouTube algorithm. Now, what we're gonna do in this video is I'm gonna go through some of the options that can make a house more accessible. I'll show you what they are and we'll talk about it. And then at the end, I'll go into the pricing. The first thing I would do is 36 inch interior doors. That's what we've done in this house. And you know what? If you can have a little more room to move around, why not take it? Because it's so easy to do it at the factory, but to change out every interior door after you get the house, no, 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 no. You don't wanna do that. 36 inch doors from the factory. That's the first thing you wanna do. All right, we're in the bathroom and right beside the toilet, you'll notice on the wall, we've got this grab bar. Now the use, that's pretty self-explanatory, but what you need to know is they are available from the factory. So you don't have to go out and buy it after the fact when your house is done. You can get it right from the factory. You can probably pay less and they'll install it for you. So it's ready to go when the home arrives. An easy thing you can do at any of the sinks, kitchen or bathroom, is take out the lower cabinets. So yes, you do lose a little bit of storage, but what you gain is the ability to roll right up to the counter's edge because it's just gonna be flooring under there. That way, if you're trying to do dishes, if you're trying to brush your teeth, it just becomes a lot more easy than it would if you're banging your knees trying to get up or coming in sideways. So it's definitely something worth looking at. The last thing I would look at changing on the inside it's an easy one, not many people want it anyways, is get rid of the carpet. It's just gonna be way easier to maintain. Go with laminate, hardwood, or vinyl plank. That's what we've got here, the vinyl plank, very easy to maintain. You come in with dirty feet, dirty shoes, dirty wheels, doesn't matter. It's easy to clean and you're good to go. The best option for the house itself is gonna be a modular on a four foot crawl space. That way you're gonna have a fairly level entrance and not much need for too much ramp. If you notice in this house, it's on blocks. We do have quite an extensive ramp going inside because you can only have so much slope and still meet the building code. So they both work really well. If I had my choice between the two to say which one was a little bit better for being more accessible, I would go with the modular on a four foot crawl space. Now let's talk about the price of these options. So keep in mind, this is just meant to be a guide. Every factory, every dealer do things a little bit different and have different pricing. So I don't want you going in somewhere and saying, well, Carrie said it was gonna be this price online. They might do things totally different than I do. This is a guide to get you started so you know what's available and give you a range of what the price is gonna be. So with the 36 inch doors, we were paying 125 per door. And then the grab bar was $100 installed. It's there for you, ready when the home arrives and you're good to go. Now the sink, taking those cabinets out, even though you're taking something out, there's still gonna be a charge because it's something different and it's gonna slow down the factory line. They become less efficient when they do something they're not used to doing. So they're probably gonna charge you 150 to 250 to make that change. In my mind, it's well worth it, but you have to make that decision yourself. For the carpet coming out, you will likely get some kind of a credit for taking the carpet out. But don't forget, you're gonna lose that credit right away when you put in something more expensive for flooring. So the vinyl plank, the laminate, or the hardwood. Now, that price on that just depends on the quality you get and how much space you're covering in the home. That's all I've got for this week. If I missed anything, I'd love to hear your comments down below. Let me know what you think what's working for you. Until next time, have a good week. We'll see you on Sunday.